It's time to get some trade secrets from some of the most unlikely of trades this morning. Well, we have a funeral director joining us on the show via Zoom. We've got Matt West from Graham's Funerals New Zealand. Matt, are you willing to reveal some trade secrets around what a funeral director does on the daily? Revealing some of the trade secrets. Yeah, I can do some of them, probably. Excellent. Well, look, while we're talking, guys, if you've got questions for Matt, you can send them through to us, 8168 with the first word Rima, and we will put them to him this morning. But, um, Kat, kick us off. All right. First of all, what does a funeral director actually do? So a funeral director is the person that comes and collects your loved one. So once they've passed away, um, we've got a transfer vehicle, so we'll come and collect the person from the place of death. So hospital, rest home, residence, wherever it is. We also deal with the police as well. So, I mean, it could be the beach. So, I mean, wow. that's, you know. Hang on wow. a minute. So, yeah. the on. bodies and don't I've get collected by clothes. the morgue. They get collected by a funeral director. Yes, yes. Yeah, and that's a different story. Again, that's a different line of path. But, yes, we, we work with the police and we work out where the place is. So, yeah. Wow. So, we collect, we bring them back to our, our premises. We prepare the body. We get them into a casket. We do some paperwork. We we'll go from there. We pre- we prepare a funeral. Okay, so look, opening question from me then. I could, t- I, I could tell in your response just now as well. To be a funeral director, do you have to be naturally tactful, uh, or do you learn that as you go? Because I'm noticing the framing here seems very important. The way you describe the certain elements of the job. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors as well. Was to say when I said to revealing some of the trade secrets because it's a little bit hard, but um, you have to be very tactful, very tactful. Yes. And I mean, there's all sorts of elements involved, and there's all sorts of emotions and raw emotions going on. So, you've got to be you've got to be there for the person. You've got to be um, you've got to you've got to read the room as to what's going on. You've got to work out who the person is to talk to. It's um it can be tough, but um yeah, you just got to be there for them. Does it help to have a sense of humour, or is it better to not have one? Ooh, because I think it's yeah. just, I'm one of those people that has. <laughs> been to a few funerals recently and also yeah. kind of had a bit of a chuckle. Like I get like nervous and my response oh. is to find things really funny. And then before I know it, I know I shouldn't be laughing, which makes it more hilarious that I'm laughing and then I get stuck. Yeah. No, I would. And I do. And I do No, the people I work with have a sense of humor, never at the expense of the loved one. It's, it's always and good and good humor It's having a sense of humor. It's important. It's, it's human. It's um, it's one of those things that just comes naturally. But sometimes there's things you shouldn't laugh at. Clearly, mm, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, often the poor bears are cracking up about something. It's cool. It's fun. Okay. Well, here's a question that's come through from a listener. What's yes. the strangest request you've had? Ooh, oh yes, I'd love to know this too. Um, strangest usually comes down to music, like music choices, and you kind of like, I wouldn't play that in a church. Ah. I wouldn't play that just sort of coming down the aisle, but. Hey, it's what the family loves and what the, what's the deceased wants. So um, music can be a really funny choice. You've played Highway to Hell from ACDC, haven't you? Yeah, we have. Yeah. We have. Really? I have knew you it. actually? I knew it. I knew it. Wow. I just, yeah. Straight up, I yeah. bet that would have and to I mean, be it. That would make any Christian it's... uncomfortable, right? Oh, absolutely. It's not my decision. It's up to them, <laughs> and we have to crank it up loud. Wow. Um, I mean, there's lots of Christians out there that obviously pass away. And that's their choice. Yeah. Wow. All like, right. You know, we, well, I'm going to try and steer in the direction we can, but hey, it's once again, it's their personal opinion. It's up to them what they want to do. Um, music choices can be interesting. We put it out to you. If you have any burning questions you'd like to ask a funeral director, <laughs> a cracker of a question has come through. I was going to say, hang on a minute. That pun completely slipped past you, but I think both Matt and I picked it up. Which one? Yeah. Burning. Burning questions? Oh, burning, yeah. For a funeral director? Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I mean, <laughs> Right. Just on that, I mean, burning and cremation. Cremation takes about eighty percent, or well over seventy percent of, of um, you know, the person. place of disposition. So, burning is a burning, burning is the right word. All oh, right. Well, there you go. Um, so people have been texting through their questions for you, Matt, on eight one six eight with the first word. Rima, going to start off with this one. What does a corpse smell like? Oh my goodness! Are there any vegans out there? Um, <laughs> it's. It can smell, and every single body is different, but it can smell a little bit like rotting meat. Yep. I mean, that's what you Over kind time. of expect. So, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So if if you were to pass away out in the elements, out in the sun, out um, on the footpath, whatever, 
it enhances the aroma, if you like. So wow. it can get worse. So some people have a better smell and not such a, um, a, a pongy smell, but yeah, over time, or if you're in the elements, it makes it worse. Okay, this is a question from me, Matt, because um, yes. you've been in this role for a little while now. Yeah. Has there been a moment where you've sort of felt unwell, like a bit queasy as a result of that? No, no. Honestly, I'm I'm hungry afterwards. It's 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 a weird thing, but I it doesn't it doesn't put me off. Um, I've seen people put like Vaseline or whatever to try and help themselves, but actually, it just makes it worse and it oh. clears your sinuses and you go. Oh, I can smell everything a lot clearer now. So that's wonderful. Oh, you're talking about so like Vicks vapor, vapor Rub. Okay, I understand. Is, is, there a process, yeah, yeah. is there a process for like onboarding with this, Matt, where you know pretty quickly if somebody is made for this kind of work or not? Like I imagine if it's something like, say, nursing, when people think, yeah, yep, I want to help people, but then, you know, the wider... Yeah. yeah, have you seen anyone sort of go into this role as a funeral director and then quickly back out because they realise it's not for them? Yes. I mean, you've got to be a number of things. You've got to be empathetic. You've got to be caring. You've got to have a strong stomach when it comes to that. You have to have a little, little bit of um, energy and strength in your actual arms and you know and legs to, to sort of carry. But um, it takes up a number of things to sort of become a funeral director. It's, um, it's not the easiest. But, yeah, dealing with um, emotional stuff and raw stuff from family too, it's, um, it's not always easy. So, um, and, yeah, being able to – balance yourself between you know um yeah be that sort of middle person be the yeah. balance so it's 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 a delicate um performance if you like or a delicate um way of being well you know what they say in life there are only two things that are guaranteed and that is death and taxes so we're all going to die one yeah. day but the good news is we have this great hope in christ so i guess the most important yes. question is how does your faith in jesus help you on the daily with your job as a funeral director I could not do this job without God. I wow. could not do it. I, he's who I turn to. Um, I am covered in prayer. So every morning before I leave um, the house or wherever I am to go to work, I pray. Before I leave or before I enter my house again at the end of the day, I pray again. So I am covered in prayer and and I need to be because heck, it will be hard without. It's it's a it's a must. And mm. so so yeah, I mean, and it's, it's the end of your days. It's 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 where we are, you know, that's our home. So we've that's a massive part of um who I am. And um and and death entails going to our next place. So it's absolutely all about God. So Yeah. It's it's actually a pretty eye opening thing, I suppose, as well, you would have seen in, in that environment. The difference between, say, a funeral for somebody who has a faith and somebody who doesn't and the, the difference yeah in the atmosphere um, is, is something, I mean, I'll never forget that experience in my own life, just seeing, I guess at that moment, you really do start to see the real rubber yeah. meets the road value of your faith at a moment when people really need it. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a sense of peace, mm. you know, for, for people that have faith to, you can tell in the, in the family. Um, I mean, in every given situation, in every given funeral, I try and sort of incorporate um, some instrumental mm. Christian music. And that way they kind of go for for a family that doesn't hasn't been brought up with any any faith they kind of go, oh I remember those school those songs from back in Sunday school or whatever else, and it kind of draws it in a little bit. But yeah, no, it's it's I'm happy to work with any given family, but 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 working with a family that I know that has lived a, a faithful life and and they know that they're going home and. That's pretty cool. It makes and, it easier, yeah. doesn't it? Well, thank oh, you absolutely. so much, Matt West, for your time this morning and for what you do. And um, if anyone has any questions, they can reach out, I understand, to your website, grahamsfunerals.co.nz. Is that correct? That's correct. That's the one. Big thanks, Matthew West. He's given us our trade secrets this morning. And look, if there's another trade that you'd like to get some more secrets from, you can always make a suggestion to us. Text them through for our next episode, just 8168 with the first word, Rima. Hey, we really hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn your notifications on. And I uh, hope you enjoy the next one. Yeah, we'll catch you then.